Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at all the beauty steals in the Ulta semi-annual beauty event. This is going to be week two. I'm going to try to make this a shorter one than last week. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? It is really late on a Tuesday night. To me, it's still a Tuesday night because I don't consider it the next day until I actually go to sleep, no matter what time that is. That's just been a rule of mine, basically, ever since I was very young. And about an hour and a half ago, I got back from celebrating a friend's birthday and I have been refreshing the Ulta website in hopes that I would still be up for when they released the beauty steals for week two. And lo and behold, it is now up. I have not looked at all. I figured actually it might be fun to just do this as my very first impressions on, you know, on camera with you guys. And just like I did last week, I'm probably going to scooch over and see if I can screen record my computer since I do film on my phone. I apologize for the bare eye look. I filmed my last video, which was my 2023 eyeshadow palette ranking on late Sunday night. And I had gone to a concert earlier that day and I just had a very simple eye look with the Natasha Denona My Mini Dream or whatever that five pan is called. My eyes felt fine the whole day, no irritation whatsoever. And maybe I scratched something on my eyelid when I was taking off my makeup because the next morning when I woke up, this eye was really puffy and I had like a red patch right in the center of my lower lid. It almost looked like it could be a sty, but when I do get styes, they tend to be closer to like my inner tear duct and it didn't hurt like a sty. It was just irritated. Like I have a feeling I probably scratched it or did something, but just to be safe, I decided for a few days until that little red spot goes away, I'm going to be really minimal and not do eye makeup. So the only thing I did is like whatever leftover concealer I had on my brush, I put it on my eyelid and then just set it down with a little bit of powder and no mascara, no eyeliner, no anything. Cause I'm, I'm just a little bit scared. I want to make sure the eyelid heals completely. Cause you know, who knows? I don't want to, I don't want to turn it into a bigger thing than it needs to be obviously. Cause it is my eyes. So before we jump into the second week of the Ulta sale, let me very quickly welcome you guys for those of you that are new here. Hi, my name is Natalia. I'm a concert pianist who loves all things makeup and beauty. I love sales. I've been a bargain hunter all my life. So of course, a video like this is right up my alley. However, in general, 2024 is the year where I'm trying to buy less and discover or rediscover the items that are already in my collection because I have a ton of makeup products that I honestly have yet to use that I've purchased and they've been sitting around. And not only is that embarrassing and a bummer, but I'm still very curious about those products and obviously I've already spent the money so it would be really a waste for them to just continue sitting around. So if you're interested in content where I do talk quite a lot about new makeup but I don't necessarily buy all of it and I also am trying to revisit a lot of older products, do project pans, shop my stashes and things like that. So basically a bit of a mixed content with a focus on conscientious buying. Then I hope that you will consider sticking around and subscribing and without further ado let's get into this video. So as I just mentioned, since I am trying to buy less and use more of what I have, just because I am mentioning products that I want to buy doesn't mean I actually will. So if you watched last week's video, you know that I already did a little mini haul because Ulta did release some of their beauty steals early, like five or six days earlier than the sale started for the platinum and diamond members. And I do happen to be a platinum member. I'm trying to not buy a lot during the sale. In week one, I only only purchased on one day. I'm gonna wait to do like a even a verbal haul. I'm gonna see if in fact I refrain from purchasing anything else or I do end up picking up one or two more things and then maybe come back with another haul or something like that. Stay tuned to see what I got. It was much. It wasn't much. All right, let me scooch over. Let me try to screen record my computer and let's jump in. Okay, what is it? Command shift? Command shift five? No. Command option five? Yes. All right, let's hope as always that this screen record is working. It's still really tough to edit last week, but it made it a little easier, I hope, I think, than, you know, putting in individual pictures. As I said, week two has just been announced. This is actually still what is on sale today, what you're seeing right now, me scrolling through these products. So we've already discussed that. And here is the calendar for the upcoming week. You will see these two squares is what is happening tomorrow. 
tomorrow. So that is still week one. Again, this we've discussed where I'm pointing my mouse to. But starting from March 15th, this is all new seals that we haven't seen before because as I mentioned in my first video, Ulta has changed up the way they're doing their sale. It's no longer 21 Days of Beauty. It's now the semi-annual event and they are only releasing products one week at a time. I already gave you guys my thoughts on that last week. To summarize, I'm not happy about it. I would have preferred to know right away up front what is on sale because I feel like this really does promote even more overspending, especially for people who are bargain hunters and for whom that is a struggle where they really have a hard time passing up a deal. Like some people I know, I have to be very careful because if I go crazy week one and then still see things I really want in week two and three, that can very quickly escalate and please be careful, especially if you tend to overspend, over shop, or you just plain don't need, you know, a lot of this. I'm with you on all of those points. So let's see if we can together <laughs> convince ourselves of why we don't need, hopefully, a lot of these products. So March 15th, these are the in-store and online deals because there are two types now. There's online only and then there's in-store and online. This is the in-store and online. And right away, I'm seeing the Lancome Advanced Genifique Radiance Boosting Face Serum. I have heard for years and years and years really great things about this serum. And I have tried a tiny little sample. I have to say I did enjoy it, but because it was so small, it's really hard for me to base any sort of results off of a sample. Obviously, skincare takes a lot longer than this to take effect, but you might be able to see here on the screen that it has 4.7 stars with 13 and a half thousand reviews. So this is a very well-known and loved product. If it's something you use regularly, this would be a fantastic opportunity to pick it up for half off. I will not be getting it, not only because it is still on the price here and even with discounts, I don't know which size is going to be on sale. Plus, I have way too much skincare at the moment and my goal is actually to use up as much of it as possible in this year before restocking things. You will We'll see a video probably in the upcoming few weeks where I actually go through most of my skincare and you will understand why I am refraining from skincare in this sale for the most part. All right, then we've got the, the Kitsch Satin Pillowcases. They come in lots of different colors. I bought one. They were having these on sale for 50% off for some other event that they were doing and I heard Kelly Gooch talk about it. I think she even posted it on her stories or on her community page and I decided, you you know what? Why not? I'm gonna try it. I've never done silk or satin pillowcases before and I've heard that it is better for your hair, for your face, all of those good things and I have been using it. I can't tell if I see great results in my hair or my skin yet obviously but it's a nice enough pillowcase. I only bought one because I can always just throw it in the wash and then reuse it right after so I don't think I'll be purchasing an additional one even though it would be I guess kind of nice to have a set because I do have two pillows in my bed. Sometimes I double them up, but I can always put the satin one on top. Maybe, maybe I will look up to see what color I purchased and consider getting one for $9.50. But right now, for me personally, it's not a necessity. However, I very much like it so far. So if you guys have been considering a satin pillowcase with 4.8 stars and almost 4,000 reviews and me being able to vouch for the fact that yes, it is a very nice pillowcase and so far, the few times I've washed it, it's held up very nice, then, you know, you might want to use this opportunity to go ahead and snag one for a good deal. Next up, we have the Lancome Lash Adol, uh, the Lash Lifting and Volumizing Mascara. I believe I've tried a mini of this and I don't think I was wowed. Uh, to be honest though, I really can't remember much about this mascara. It is originally $30. It'll be on sale for $15. So if this is one you use and love, that's a good time to buy it. I see that actually there there's also the waterproof version here. Of course, the pillowcases come in the standard and the king size. The Lancome also has a night cream that is going to be on sale, originally $100. So if this is one you use, good time to buy it. That's a big savings. There's also the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser, which I actually right now have a mini of in my shower. And I really like how gentle and effective it is as far as the cleansing. I don't like the scent because I think it's supposed to be unscented, but it has like 
like a weird no scent scent. Hopefully that is not just mine. I don't think mine is old or should have been spoiled. If you use this cleanser, can you let me know like what is it supposed to smell like? Because that's the only downside to this cleanser. I really don't enjoy the weird no scent scent. And then there's the Peace Out Retinol Eye Stick with encapsulated retinol and peptides. That actually sounds really cool and interesting. I don't know anything about this product. I've never tried anything from Peace Out. I believe they specialize in like pimple patches or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. And I know, of course, retinol is a very hot uh, ingredient in skincare. And I use quite a lot of retinol products, but I've never used anything in this format, like a stick format. So it's kind of cool, kind of interesting. Let's look at the online only beauty seals. I see that the Clinique Happy perfume is on sale. I don't know if I've ever tried Clinique Happy. I might even have a sample somewhere. So I guess at some point I will try it, but I don't believe I remember what it smells like even if I did try it. So I can't really tell you guys much about that. Living Proof, let me scroll because sometimes there's multiple products from the same brand and I don't see it until after. So Living Proof is a leave-in hair treatment and I'm not really looking for a lot of hair products from this sale. I know it is something that Ultra has introduced this time around into the sale. There's a lot of hair products, which again, I talked about in last week's video. I'm not really all about it. I, I don't want a lot of hair products in this sale. This has always to me been a makeup and skincare sale, kind of like in my mind. So the 21 Days of Beauty didn't have a lot of hair products, if any, because they did a separate hair event. So I don't know if now they've combined those two events into one, but I don't want hair products right now. I don't really feel like I need hair products right now. So I'm skipping over talking about the majority of them. Philosophy Hope in a Jar Smooth Glow Multitasking Moisturizer. I don't know if this is like their old school, fairly well-known moisturizer that Philosophy philosophy has had for many, many years. If it's that one, I have tried it and I didn't feel like it really did anything for my skin. I have dry skin. I didn't feel like it was moisturizing enough. It really was kind of like a take it or leave it product because I just felt like it was a waste of money for me personally. So I can't recommend this myself, but if, again, if this is a product you use and love, then obviously this is a fantastic time to grab it. Crepe Erase Ultra Smoothing Neck Repair. Okay. So it's a neck cream and I definitely need to work on my neck. I've noticed quite a lot of lines forming. I think I have a neck cream that I forget to use. So I need to first use the one I have before considering buying anything else. We have, I'm guessing this is hair oil. I don't know. I don't know what Crayol Essence is. I don't know if this is a hair brand. Yes. Okay. So this is the castor oil that promotes thick, shiny, long hair and hydrated skin. Okay. So it is just castor oil. Is that all it is? Okay. I mean, it has 4.9 stars. Maybe I should consider this because I've always been interested in trying castor oil. Let me know if you guys have tried this specific brand for castor oil or any other oils that they have. Let me know if uh, this is something that's worth looking into because of course, at ten dollars i would be curious to try that looks like they have a uh, haitian ca black castor oil the rosemary mint and the original then there's the mango papaya and coconut the lavender hibiscus and those are all the scents so it's essentially all castor oil just with different either other oils or fragrance or whatnot now it looks like also all of nabla palettes are going to be 50 percent off and in every single one of these alter sales, regardless of whether it was called 21 Days of Beauty or now semi-annual, they always have the Nabla palettes on 50% off. And I always am so curious about the Nabla formula. I always want to pick up one or two palettes and try them. And every single time I have been strong enough and have talked myself out of it just because as I've mentioned so many times on my channel, I have so many eyeshadow palettes in my collection that I have yet to try. They're sitting around still brand new and I'm trying to really work on that this year. So I feel like adding a lot of eyeshadow palettes is just going to be counterproductive. As it is, I know I'm going to bring in at least a 
few new ones. In fact, I just purchased a bundle earlier tonight because my friend Kelly from Keep Beauty Real mentioned something on her stories. It was Sigma that were doing a three for 30 deal on their nine pan eyeshadow palettes. If that sale is still running, I will make sure to link Kelly's channel. Go use her link, please help, help your creators out. I mean, that did seem honestly like a fantastic deal because those eyeshadow palettes are usually $30 each and I managed to get three for 30. I am actually hoping to put one of them into my thousand subscriber giveaway because I am over the 850 subscriber mark. So I'm getting excited. I'm really hoping that I hit a thousand subscribers this year. So that means at least one, if not two of those palettes is going into my personal collection. And I feel like I really should stay strong and not add any more. Let me know what you guys think about Nabla and their formula, because I remember when these palettes, whether it was the side by side or all of these cutie six pan palettes, when these were coming out, they were getting a lot of really positive feedback. However, as the years pass, because a lot of these palettes are now quite a few years old, I feel like people are decluttering them and saying that now in comparison to a lot of current modern day formulas, these no longer really wow them as much. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you guys own and use Nabla, let me know what their formula is like, what are your favorite palettes, and whether you think it would be worthwhile for me to pick up 102 at 50% off. We are on to March 16th. These are the in-store and online beauty steals. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer with SPF 50. I've never tried this product. I've only tried their original CC cream that came out many years ago. It was actually one of my favorite complexion foundation products back in the day. And then it started to break me out. Let's look at all the IT products. So we've got the Bye Bye Foundation, which I can't speak on. The Airbrush Blurring Foundation foundation brush. I might have this one or the buffing foundation. I know I have a couple of IT Cosmetics for Ulta brushes and I honestly love all the ones I have. So if there's a specific style or shape, if you're in the market for brushes, looks like on this day there's a ton of them, but I think they're all like the complexion, all of their foundation ones. 50% off brings the price down to a very reasonable amount. Most of these look like they're going to be like $13, $15 or somewhere in that ballpark. And then as far as makeup, they have also the Bye Bye Dark Spot Concealer and Serum. I haven't used it. I'm so sorry. I can't speak on that. Feel free to let us know in the comments what you think of these products. And then there's the Lancome Idol uh, perfumes. There's the Idole Eau de Parfum, there's the Idole Nectar, the Idole Now, so I guess all the Idoles. Idole Aura, Aura, I don't know, I don't speak French, I don't know any of this pronunciation, I'm so sorry, but I haven't tried, have I ever tried any of the Lancome perfumes? I mean, I know I've smelled some like on my friends or samples, but I've never owned any Lancome perfumes. I'm so sorry. I really can't speak on a lot of these things, but that's why, it's, you know, that's that's why this is fun. It's, it's off the cuff. I haven't looked at this calendar. Maybe it's actually kind of good that I don't know a lot about these products because this tells me that Ulta is putting some products that haven't been on these sales before. And then we've got the Bioionic 10 times Pro straightening and styling iron. Not something I'm on the market for, but if you're looking for new hair tools, maybe this sale could help you find something. The Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Retinol, Ser Retinol Serum, sorry, more retinol, more skincare, not something I am looking for right now. However, Dermalogica has some really, really great products. Um, and so then there's the brush cleanser from It Brushes Falta. That, that could be interesting because I've been using up soaps and whatever I have at the moment but I'm sure shortly I'm going to need a brush cleanser. So maybe, but um, to be honest so far, nothing's really catching my eye. Let's look at the online only steals from the same day from March 16th. Ooh, there's some Sunday Riley. Okay, let's take a look. Sunday Riley Pink Drink Firming Resurfacing Essence. I've heard of this, but I've never used it. Have you guys? Let me 
know what is this pink drink thing it, i mean it looks cute <laughs> it definitely looks cute and it has 4.7 stars it says this refreshing sunday riley peptide infused essence visibly firms and resurfaces while fermented honey and botanical extracts balance the skin's natural microbiome that sounds actually really really good so that's interesting then we've got the benefits cosmetics pore professional pore minimizing primer let's see if all the pore minimizing primers are on sale looks like it because there's also the hydrating primer from the series the super setter uh makeup setting spray ultra lightweight face primers so it seems like the entire professional line is on sale i've only tried the original pore minimizing primer way back in the day as i was just starting to get seriously into this makeup hobby when i discovered youtube by now probably like 12 13 years ago and i went through an entire tube you know back in the day when this this and maybe one other primer were the only two i owned i don't feel well i don't know it's hard for me to say because it's been so long i was gonna say i don't feel like this is a product i really would enjoy right now it it does have a little bit of a silicone feel but not nearly as much as the Smashbox original primer that one I really didn't like I think I spoke about that one last week this one I don't know I I wouldn't buy it even at 50% off I don't think I would really want to spend the money on that right now but if I ever got a sample I would be really curious to try it again because I haven't in so long Bobbi Brown long wear smudge proof gel eyeliner I don't really use gel eyeliner I used to own like the Maybelline ones and I I thought those were good enough so i never really ventured into higher end ones that's not very interesting for me personally and then there's a whole bunch of bedhead products i am not even gonna go there i'm sorry i'm i'm just not gonna waste my time on the hair stuff and there's a few other hair products here we're just gonna skip over that this after party super smoothing cream that packaging that packaging is a choice there's also the eyeliner brush from bobby brown makes sense i think they did that last week with was it the icon London there was like a face palette and then also a brush on sale so I guess they're doing a similar thing where they're putting the gel eyeliner and also including a brush in the sale so that that's actually it makes sense okay we're on to March 17th and let's see what we've got Ooh, there's the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Foundation SPF 45 this was on the preview for premium and diamond and I was this close to purchasing it because I used to have this product and if you guys watch my foundation declutter, I decluttered it only because I had the wrong shade. It was too dark for me. I couldn't make it work, but I really enjoyed the formula. So one day I would love to have this product back. It's just that day should not be March 17th just because I have enough. I need to use up some of what I have. I have to look to see if I even still have the decluttered ones sitting around the house or if I've already given it away because I don't even remember what the shade that I have it is. Or I guess I need to go back to my video and see if I mentioned it in there. Because if I were to consider repurchasing this one day, I should make sure that this time around I get a lighter shade. But yeah, this is for my dry skin. This was a great foundation. It almost was like a very high coverage CC cream. Maybe this one actually had a little bit more glow to it. I really liked this one. I really, really did. And again, if I didn't have as much and if right now my finances were in slightly better shape, I would have probably considered repurchasing that, but I am going to hold out. However, if this is a product you've been eyeing and you have normal to dry skin, I would say this is a good one to pick up, especially at 50% off. Though this is not the first time it's in these sales. So I'm guessing it's a product that will go on sale again so if this is not a good time for you guys to grab it don't worry it's going to be on sale in the future again peter thomas roth instant firm eye temporary eye tightener i have a little sample i don't think it's the peter thomas roth i gotta look but it's an eye product that sounds kind of similar it's like an eye cream that tightens and i recently wore this on a day when then i went to put on makeup and that pilled on me pilled like crazy I mean I had to take all of my eye makeup like my concealer and everything off but that's just something now I'm gonna be very weary of with anything that says eye tightener because it essentially like forms a film over your eye that tightens up I guess like dries up and tightens up and then if you go to 
move it around, it, it pills. So I can't speak for this specific product, but that's what it makes me think of. Uh, Bumble and Bumble, the thickening blow dry prep spray. I've heard lots of great things about it, but I think I already mentioned in last week's video, I'm kind of scared of Bumble and Bumble because I had a really bad experience once with some product that I hated. Don't remember what it was. Don't know if it was this or something else. It's been years, but I'm still apparently traumatized. Baby Bliss is a brand I have had a tool from and really enjoyed it. So it looks like there's a curling iron, an extra large one on sale on this day. So for $40, I guess, if you need an extra large curling iron, this might be a good one. I rarely use curling irons. So the one I have is good enough for me. Uh, looks like there's a bunch of uh, ABH lip products on sale that day. I have tried the liquid lipsticks way back in the day when they first came out and back then they were very drying. I don't know if they've changed the formula since. I can't remember if I used to have a lip liner or not and I never tried their glosses or their uh, lipsticks. But these are like old school OG lip products and I'm sure that there are people that probably to this day use and love these. So if you're one of those people, what a great buy. 50% off seems like a very good price for these lipsticks, probably cheaper than some drugstore ones nowadays because those prices, whoo. All right, more Peter Thomas Roth. This is the 24K Gold Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Hydro Gel Eye Patches. I love eye patches, but right now I have a bunch. If you are following me on Instagram, you know that my friend Kelly and I are doing Mask Mondays, mainly because we wanna use more of our skincare, do more self-care and be kinder to ourselves. For me, definitely, I need to use a lot of my masks because I've had some of them for a long time and they either expired or about to. More uh, id brushes, these are foundation, more foundation brushes, the lip primer from ABH, more lip glosses from ABH, and not really something that is catching my eye or attention, which I am actually very happy about because my goal is to shop less this year, so if the sales are not appealing to me, then makes it that much easier for me to accomplish my goals. All right, looks like on March 17th in the online beauty steals, we have a lot of hot tools. In fact, they are hot tools from the brand, hot tools. Uh, there's the extended barrel curling iron. This one is even cheaper than the Babyliss. Is that what it was? I know I had a hair dryer actually from that brand that I loved and lasted me for probably like 10 years. Then there is the Hot Tools Pro Artist Black Gold Infrared Ionic Salon Dryer. Looks like it has fantastic reviews. 4.8 stars, only 53 reviews, but still that is impressive. And it looks like a really sleek, stylish dryer for a pretty decent price. $99 originally on sale for 50 bucks. That's really not bad if in fact it is as good as the reviews are saying. Then there's another curl straight styler and an extended barrel tapered curling wand. Not anything I will get, but if you guys are looking for new hot tools, looks like there's a lot of pretty decent choices here. Then there's the Elemis Pro Collagen Renewal Serum. I've tried and really like the Elemis moisturizers. I haven't tried the serums, so I don't know honestly what to tell you about that, but again, looks like the ratings are great. It's originally a hundred and two dollar serum so if this is one you like 51 dollars definitely sounds a lot better than 102 and then we have stila the heavens do gel lip oil we know that lip oils right now and have been now for what a couple of years are all the rage i do not need more lip oils i have plenty so i'm going to just close my eyes, pretend it's not there, and move right along. And then there seems to be some hair shine sprays and serums and things. So I'm gonna skip right over that. Okay, let's see. I mean, I guess on the one hand, it's like, oh, it's not, not such a great sale. I'm not seeing anything I really like. But as I said, on the other hand, so far I'm really excited that I'm not seeing anything that I really like. Now we've got the Cosrx Master Patch Hydrocolloid Patches Set. I don't use pimple patches 
I do get an occasional breakout here and there, but I'm not bothered by them because knock on wood, it hasn't been a big problem. So I haven't ventured into the patch territory. Origins Ginseng SPF 40 Energy Boosting Tinted Moisturizer. This sounds interesting, not something that this time around I'm gonna pick up, but the few skincare products I've tried from Origins, I've really enjoyed. And I do actually prefer SPFs with a little tint. Now, this one looks like it's maybe like color adjusting because there's really no tint per se from what they're showing. So how color adjusting really is it? As far as all the different skin tones, it looks like it's probably gonna be good for like fair to medium, but then what do we do beyond that? And does it leave a severe white cast for the rest of the population? Couldn't tell you, haven't used the product and not looking to buy SPF because I need to use what I already have before it expires. There was one, I can't remember now, the name of the brand was a tinted that looked really appealing in week one and I held back. I almost, almost went for it, but I was like, nope, you gotta use what you have first. Um, Briogeo is actually one of my favorite hair care brands. And if I didn't already have a ton of shampoo and conditioner, maybe I would have considered trying some of these products. Although these look like they are leave-ins or styling. Okay, so they are not shampoo and conditioner anyways. There's the uh, Farewell Frizz Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioner and then there's the Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Perfection Heat Protectant Cream. That sounds intriguing because I don't know if I have any heat protectants at the moment and I certainly have plenty of frizz. Maybe, depending if I remember or not, for $13 that seems like a pretty good deal. And then there's the Lancome Clarifique Pro Solution Brightening and Dark Spot Reducing Serum. Not looking for skincare, don't know much about that specific product so we're moving right along online only for march 18th lots of biolage which is a brand i used to use i want to say like in college maybe so it's been a hot minute i'm not going to be purchasing anything because as i said right now i have plenty of shampoo and conditioner this does sound like it would be a really good deal especially if you already use biolage looks like they also have like a are these refill pouches or is that no these are treatment masks Ooh, okay that actually sounds intriguing here i am eating my word saying i don't want any hair care deep treatment masks sounds intriguing maybe if you guys have a favorite if you've used these biolage masks and you have a favorite can you let me know because if i do go for it i'm probably going to just try one just so i don't go crazy and I don't spend a lot of money. There's the Nude Stick Nude Screen Daily Mineral Veil SPF 30. This I'm assuming is like a tinted moisturizer with SPF. Not something I need at the moment, but sounds potentially interesting. There's an apple cider vinegar hair rinse from DP Hue. I think if I wanted to do something like that, I would just make my own. I mean, I have apple cider vinegar in my fridge, so I don't see why I need to be spending money on something that I can do myself pretty easily. Half Magic has the Flick Eyeliner on sale that day for 50% off. The Foreo Bare Smart Microcurrent Facial Toning Device is on sale. And if I remember correctly, I've heard some really good things about this. I think I've mentioned I'm really into eventually getting more at-home devices. They're just spendy. So not, not this time around because even at 50% off, this little sucker is going to be over $150. $50. There's also the treatment that I assume goes with it, probably like a gel that you put on before you do the microcurrent. So if that's a device you've done your research on, I wouldn't necessarily blind buy this. I would definitely look into it, read some reviews, watch some videos on this. My go-to person usually has been Penn Smith Skincare. I think that is her channel name. If I remember, I'll link it down below. By the way, if you guys have your favorite creators, to watch for skincare can you please share them with me because I am looking to add a couple of new people to watch specifically who specialize in skincare and hopefully they are either medical professionals or aestheticians or you know people that work in skincare I would love to learn a bit more about it so if you know of people that you really enjoy and trust please do share them with okay. me. Okay we are on to March 19th let's take a look 
look. This is the in-store and online deals. Bare Minerals Original Loose Powder Foundation is on sale. This is the very first high-end because back then this was definitely high-end for me. Foundation that I ever purchased and went through the entire full size of. I actually attended a friend's wedding right around the time that I was getting uh, into makeup and I bought like a starter set that had two different shades of found of this foundation. I probably got like the two lightest ones. It had a loose bronzer and their loose uh, like setting powder. Pretty sure I had the fair or one and I probably had the one that's like the warm version. So the cool and the warm and I ended up mixing the two very often because I find that I'm more neutral at least that seems to usually work the best for me so i think i had like probably this golden fair in 04 this was i mean i really enjoyed it when i used this product this is something if i didn't know how long it takes to go through an entire tube of mineral loose powder like that i would maybe consider trying this again i just have too much i'm not gonna do it this time around but if you use this product let me know because i don't I don't know it must be popular enough because it's still on the market so many years later i'm so curious how many people actually still use this product it cosmetics confidence in a cream anti-aging hydrating moisturizer i had a sample of this fairly recently i want to say and i really enjoyed it i am probably gonna refrain from purchasing this for reasons I've already mentioned, but it is kind of a little tempting. I, I won't lie. More Curlsmith products. Some of these I remember from the preview that Ulta did for members, for Platinum Diamond members. I really like this brand. I've tried quite a few products from them. I think I went through an entire curl defining styling souffle in the past. I think I mentioned in last week's videos that I do find some of their products occasionally at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but of course, not this variety of products. So if this is a brand you enjoy, what a great day. March 19th, mark your calendars, 50% off, obviously is a very good price. And then we've got more foundation brushes from It Cosmetics and a Kapari Rose Gold Sun Shield Body Glow Gel, SPF 45. I don't really use those body glow type products, but with summer coming up, if that's something you enjoy and you don't have any at the moment, this could be a fun one to try. Okay, and then same day, March 19th, but these are the online only seals, the eye patches. I love these Pachology Flash Patch Night Eye Gels. I bought, uh, not the big tub, I bought like the five pack, I think it is or something. Let's take a look actually. They have the five pair, the 15 pair and the 30 pair. They don't always put all of them on sale. So you'll probably have to wait until this day to see if in fact all of these are going to be marked down or just some of them. And I have yet to try the, the Surf Chilled Rosé Hydrating Eye Gels, but I believe I also picked up a five pack of those. So definitely a product I would recommend. I think they're great eye patches. Elizabeth Arden Hyaluronic Acid Ceramide Capsules Hydra Plumping Serum. Whew. I'm getting tired from these names, I swear. This I think I have a little sample of, like with a few of these little capsules that you, you know, the one time use. I think last time I placed an Ulta order where they were giving away like a bundle of free products. This is a product that came in there and I have not yet gotten around to trying it. So unfortunately I can't give you guys any thoughts yet. I'm sure in a future empties, you'll hear me talk about it. And I'm sure that if they're giving out samples and putting this on sale, that means it's probably going to be on sale again. Uh, Nioxin Ultimate Power Serum. Why do I feel like I've heard of this brand? Is it skincare or what is it? No, hair. Okay, so this is a leave-in hair treatment. I do like masks and things. I'm not as good at leave-in treatments for hair. I'm always a little bit afraid of them that they're going to weigh my hair down and so on. So I'm, I'm going to skip over that. Juice Beauty. I've tried a sample of something and I remember liking one product. Maybe it was a cleanser 
there and being kind of like eh, about another product but it's been too long i can't think of what those products were to be honest it's probably in some empties in the past lanza healing strength neem plant silk serum i think i talked about the fact that i didn't even realize that neem oil is good for skin and hair i am a plant person so i know neem oil is a pest control oil that a lot of us planty people use and i had no clue that it also happens to be good for skin and hair so i was quite mind blown when i found this out i haven't yet to try anything from this lanza brand to be honest i don't even know if i've ever heard of it but look at these reviews 4.9 stars with 130 reviews 47 dollars it's going to be 50 percent off it is a healing strength neem plant silk serum product that increases shine and strength and it provides silky softness without greasiness so that sounds like it's a hair oil maybe one day maybe one day jane ardale just kissed lip and cheek stain i am not looking for a lip and cheek stain but let me know if you know anything about this product i feel like jane ardale is a brand i haven't heard about in quite a long time and then more lanza uh, products. This looks like it's their shampoo and conditioner. I don't know about the brand at all, but that's maybe because I have less interest in hair products in general than in makeup and skincare. All right, we've got two days left. How am I doing? I have no idea. How am I doing? I still feel like this is long. I'm trying. I'm trying. Lola V perfecting leave-in. Leave-in. Hair. Skipping. Mally's Cosmetics B Tight Lift and Firm Booty Mask. Ma no, it's it's not Mally's because there's a Mally's and this is like a Maelie's? Maelie's? I have no idea. I'm so sorry. But also, I mean, yes, th this booty definitely could use some lift and firm, but I think it's not the mask that's gonna do that. I think this gal needs to start working out. So uh, I'm gonna skip right over that. Beekman 1802, which is a brand that was on sale in week one, and I was very curious about those products. I resisted because again, trying not to buy skincare, but here they are tempting me again with the Milkshake Hyaluronic Acid and Squalene Facial Toner Mist. Hyaluronic Acid, Squalene, Facial Toner, and Mist are all things that is music to my ears so we'll see i might try a new mist even though i have way too many or i might hopefully forget and be super busy on march 20th and it will come and go without me but that is tempting i won't lie euphoria byo blush blush oil what is a blush oil guys what is a blush oil how come i don't know anything about this product oh it's a color this green one is a color changing blush which means it's gonna be pink no thank you but then we have a cool tone magenta pink a terracotta rose called but tonight and turn up the sunshine which is an orange marigold which sounds interesting can you guys let me know if you've tried this product i don't know much about euphoria and i didn't even realize that blush oil is a thing is that sort of like a stain i'm curious I'm very curious it has pretty decent ratings so i would love to hear your thoughts on that the get dreamy overnight toning body whip by that same maelis brand that i don't know how to pronounce i have body lotions and creams so i'm gonna skip on this body whip and then that looks like lip products from kylie cosmetics are on sale never tried anything by any of the kardashians and to be honest i just personally have absolutely no interest in supporting any of their brands i feel bad saying that sometimes because as a woman I want to support other women um, my grandmother was Armenian so I actually have Armenian blood in me and they are of Armenian descent but I don't know they've always irked me the wrong way I, I just don't like how obsessed people are with any celebrity really like when it gets to that point where it becomes you know and I and I use the word obsessed in this case purposefully I try to stay clear of that it gets to be to a point where I just don't think it's healthy not to mention again while i do believe that uh, people have the right to do anything they want with their bodies when you make your bodies your brand and when you promote plastic surgery and treatments to that extent while also for the longest time denying a lot of it i feel like you're feeding into this culture of unattainable standards and really hurting youth 
So anyway, I don't, this is not what this video is about. Let me get off my soapbox before, before I dig my own hole and just say too much. Cause I've always, I've, I've never watched a single episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians or basically had anything to do with them. So we're, we're just gonna leave it there. We're just gonna move right along to the online steals on March 20th. What is this weird looking thing? Okay, this is an LED mask. I have the, I have this guy. So I'm definitely not gonna be picking up this LED mask, but it's $99 and it's gonna be on sale for 50. So either that means this one is a great deal or it's not very good. Have you guys tried this? LED mask like I'm curious because for an LED mask that is an amazing price I feel like I remember reading about this years ago when I first started researching LED masks and comparing all of them and obviously looking into the more affordable options and I believe I've read that this one because of its shape doesn't sit as flush to your skin so like the the rays don't penetrate the LED doesn't penetrate as much so the results are not as effective but I could also be making this up because it's been a while since I've read those reviews Smashbox always on longwear matte liquid lipstick I've never tried these but I remember when these first came out and when liquid lipsticks were very popular these were I believe hailed as like the more comfortable version of liquid lipsticks so I do remember some people really enjoying them but I couldn't tell you you know how transfer proof these are or if they're still comfortable by today's standards because back when liquid lipsticks first came out we also did have very different standards because some of those lipsticks that would suck every ounce of humidity from your lips we were walking around saying oh these are great these are so comfortable now we've understood that what we were putting on our lips back in those beginner days of liquid lipsticks was definitely not comfortable okay. curl mix wash and go flaxseed gel for curly hair I like the idea of something for curly hair the gel the flaxseed gel but i have my jvn air dry cream that i use for both when i air dry and when i blow dry my hair with a diffuser so and that seems to be working great so for now i'm gonna wait on this although 13 dollars, which is what it's gonna be at 50 percent off definitely seems like a very good price for a hair styling product Kula Do Good Illuminating Serum Sunscreen with Probiotic Technology, SPF 30. I mentioned I'm not doing SPF until I use up most of what I have. So it looks like the rest of this is all other Smashbox lip products. Don't need lip products, or at least not these. These are not really piquing my interest. So I'm going to skip over them. But if you have tried these, let us know how are these lip products. We're on the last day, home stretch. Here we go. It brush, a huge bronzer brush. I have a very similar one from It Cosmetics that's like their actual brand, not the It for Ulta. I have a feeling it's a very similar brush though. This was one of my first high-end brushes. I still love it and occasionally use it. It's a chunky boy. If this is if this is the same brush, it is nice and soft and dense and it's a great brush for like really packing something on. You're gonna pick up a lot of pigment with this guy. More dryers, more hair products, uh, more It brushes. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but there's a blush brush, which I believe I own and very much enjoy. There's a concealer brush. There's tons of nude sticks. I have a couple of minis. I think I've only tried one so far. I can't give you guys many thoughts though. I remember enjoying it, but I would need to continue using it to have any sort of really smart thoughts on that. The Bobbi Brown concealer, the Skin Full Cover Concealer. I feel like this used to be a very popular concealer. Or am I wrong? I mean, it has 4.6 uh, stars seems to have a very mm, okay I was gonna say a very good shade range but then I realized it has a very good shade range in the fair and light side of things and then a bit less as we get deeper and darker and since I am not of a deeper and darker complexion at all I couldn't speak for these shades and just how yeah it doesn't uh, to me it looks a little questionable that's basically all that's happening on this day there's also a micro needling discovery set. I have one of those like 
cheapy, just handheld ones. It's not, you know, one that's battery operated like possibly this one looks like because this one looks more legit with all sorts of other products that I guess you're supposed to put on before you microneedle. I use mine, but not very often. It kind of scares me a little bit. I, I won't lie, you know, just because I am not one that likes needles to begin with. Quite possibly, aside from the cost of things, why I have yet to try Botox because just the idea of a needle going uh, into my face. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, Last day online only seals. Let's finish this up. Tons of matrix, tons of hair products, which means I'm not really gonna go there. More Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Instant Firm No Filter Primer. I feel like I've used this and I don't think I liked it. I think this is another one of those products that has the potential to pill. Elemis Eye Revive Mask. Okay, I haven't tried this. I've tried the Pro Collagen Face Cream Moisturizer. I really like that one. In fact, I think I have a backup of that. There is more masks. I don't know if this is for hair or it looks like it must be for hair, but I could be wrong. I don't know this brand, this Lange brand. Dr. Brandt Needles No More Baggage Eye Puffing Gel. I guess, I sorry, ID Puffing Gel. Nobody wants eye puffing gel. Natalia, get it together. More Dr. Brandt. This is the exfoliator. So that means more skincare and hair care. Two things I am trying to stay clear of, which means we are done. All right, now, how do I feel about this week? Meh. But you know, somebody else might think some of these products are fantastic because they actually use and love them. So this is a yay for me in terms of I'm not gonna be spending a lot of money this week. I would love to hear what are some of your favorites from this list or are you like me and kind of not really excited about week two so far of this sale? I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Other than that, thank you so much for sticking around and hearing my thoughts on these products. I will try to be back for week three. I hope that you guys are doing really, really well. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. And I hope that you guys are all continuing to stay safe and healthy. Take care of yourselves and those around you. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys.